Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video, we're going to talk about something that I don't see a lot of tutorials on, or actually I don't see any tutorials on, and that is modeling errors and problems and how you can, you know, what you can do to fix them. When I first started modeling, uh, probably around in 2004, I started with uh, Maya. Uh, when I was doing my modeling, I, I kept coming across these strange things that would happen to my models. I'd get strange artifacts on them, and I'd go and look on the internet and try to find out what I was doing wrong, uh, look at tutorials and everything, and I just couldn't find the answers that I was looking for. And today, when you find these type of things, it's usually, um, you know, as you're modeling, you might see them happen, but unless you know what they are, you don't know how to fix them. And there's no really no tutorials out there on how to fix them that I know of. Um, if you take a tutorial on how to make something, sometimes the person doing the tutorial will accidentally create an error, and then they'll go through and say, oh, this is, you know, this kind of error, and this is how you fix it. But I wanted to try to put these all in kind of, the, you know, one neat package. So especially if you're starting out, you can look at these and kind of be familiar with them and how to, what, you know, what to do to correct them. So let's take a look at this. The first one that we I'm going to go over is normals. Um, what are normals? Well, let's take a look. Uh, I got my little shuttle spaceship thing here that I did a long time ago and um, I'm gonna hit the N key if you go into tab into edit mode and you look over here you'll see the setting under the N menu called normals and you can actually click this and turn them on for vertices or turn them on for faces or actually turn them on for both if you want and I'm gonna leave it at faces right now and it wants just uh, zoom in here and look at these. Okay, this shows the normals of the faces and it shows these little lines pointing up. So what is this? Well, normals show the side of the face that is, I guess you could think of it as the top of the face. So I've got some here, three of them that I did backwards. So these are actually pointing down. You don't see the little, you know, lines sticking up. Normals, what they do is, um, if you're lighting a scene, it will actually tell, you know, the renderer how to render the scene as far as, you know, what the normals, which way the normals are pointing. And normally, no pun intended, you want all your normals pointing outward like this. However, uh, there is cases, or there are cases where you want to, you would want them pointing the other way. So you can do that, but... If you're ever modeling, I'm going to turn this off for a second here so we can see this, and you're looking at this. If you're ever modeling and you're extruding things and you see something strange like this where you got this dark spot and you're looking at it and you go in there and you say, well, there's only one face there. It's connected. You know, it, it looks correct, but why is it got this weird black look in it? And if you render it, you'll get that too. It'll just, you know, completely ruin your render. So that's normals pointing the wrong way. Luckily, they're very easy to fix. All you have to do is select your model, hit your T key to go into this menu here, and let's tab into edit mode. And you can look under normals here, and you can recalculate or flip direction, and that will instantly fix, fix it. Or you can choose to do a control N, which is the same thing as flipping your normals and that will fix it as well. So I'm going to just A, select my whole model here. I mean, I could just select these faces, but it's just as easy to select everything and do a control in and bam, it's fixed. So that's all you have to do to fix uh, normals that are pointing the wrong way. Okay, so that is normals. It's uh, one of the most common things that you'll run into when you're modeling is the normals getting reversed. So just remember control in or go to the T menu and that'll fix that. Let's look at another issue. Duplicated mesh. Uh, for this one I took some faces here on this little viewport or whatever you want to call it, this window, 
and basically if I select this, select this one, I just have some duplicated faces that I left in there. And on this one, I mean, you can kind of see it and you would see it in the render. What I was really going for is sometimes when I'm modeling, I'll see these like um, dark black uh, zigzag lines in there. And as you move the model around, you'll see them kind of moving around. It looks kind of weird. I tried to get that so I could show you what it looked like, but I could not, I could not make it, make it do that for some reason. I don't know if in this latest version of Blender that they have changed that. I'll probably run into it again and I'll go, oh, that's what I wanted to show them. But if you ever see, you know, part of your model and you got these kind of black lines in it and as you move the viewport around like this, it, it looks like they're kind of shimmering or whatever. That's duplicated faces. And um, basically what you do is you want to go into your, um, your model and find those duplicates. You know, you look at the shimmering thing that's there and you say, okay, so let's see if I, if I delete this face. Oh yeah, there's one underneath it. Okay. So then if you find the faces that you're, that are duplicated there, you just want to X delete the faces and that'll take care of the, that problem. Not a big deal, um, but sometimes as you're modeling, you will run into a duplicated geometry that, that you just have to fix. So that's duplicated mesh. Um, another one is disconnected verts or vertices. And for this one, um, you can probably see it here. Hopefully you can see it. See this kind of a line here and a line there. It looks kind of weird. It's not smoothed. And you may even, I mean, I kind of exaggerated this so you can actually kind of see where this is open here. But sometimes it's not that obvious. Sometimes you'll look at it and you'll go, well, it looks fine. You know, what's, what's the problem? Well, the problem is if I choose the vertex here, if you go into where you're seeing this weird line, then you'll see actually there is two vertices there. And let me turn this off so I can select that other one. Okay, and it's, they're very close together, and actually you'll see them sometimes almost right on top of each other, or, or actually right on top of each other, but they're not welded together, and that would create a problem. Same thing down here. There's two of them there that are not welded together. The way you fix these is you come along and you can do a B box select, select the two, do a, a Control M, I'm sorry, Alt-M, Alt-M to merge them and you can merge them by the first one that you selected or the last or center. I usually, in this case, it's so close, I just do a center and there you go. There's one vertex there now. And then I'll do the same thing with this one over here. B-Box select it, Alt-M, merge at center and then tab out of it and you can see that that fixes it. I run into a lot of these uh, as I'm modeling. Um, as you extrude things and move things around and change things, sometimes you'll run into these vertices that are just kind of sitting out there and you want to make sure that they're all connected together and look nice. So that is disconnected verts. Next thing I have is bad topology. Now you will hear people saying, uh, if you you know go to Blender forums, go to Blender Argus, yeah, BlenderArtist.org and uh, other forums, you'll hear people talking about bad topology, uh, errors in your mesh, uh, bad modeling, all, you know all that all that terminology, and especially when you're beginning, like when I was beginning, when people were saying that to me, it's like you know I I thought I did a pretty good job, you know what's the problem? But as you learn more and more about modeling and you get better at it, you will begin to see things that you, you did wrong a long time ago that you, didn't, you just didn't see before. Uh, you thought, you know, it looked good. And, and actually for your level of experience, it was good. But like I look back on the stuff that I did a long time ago, especially the stuff that I started out with in Maya, and I just cringe because I see all of these errors that I did, all this bad topology. And it's like, you know, how did I even get away with, you know, showing people this is kind of embarrassing. But, you know, if you're a beginner, then you have stuff like that. Well, here is an example of bad topology. 
this is the original uh, version of this uh, human head that I did with Make Human. I just basically brought it right out of Make Human. This is the good one over here, even though there's it doesn't look like it from <laughs> some of these views. This is actually the good one. Um, this one over here, I purposely created bad topology on it just to show you the difference. And of course, if we do a render, you can pretty much see the difference here. I mean, this one's nice and smooth, and this one's got these kind of uh, indents here and these problems over here, some problems up here. So you can see the difference in the, in the, um, in the render. So how do you fix bad topology? Well, first let's look at the, the good topology. I'm just going to tab into this, and let me turn Occlude back on so it would be easier to see. And I'm going to turn, let's go ahead and turn faces on. And let's look at this topology. I mean, this is probably about the best topology you can get when creating a human head. And I'm just going to alt select these faces. Uh, probably better to show you this one. See how this nicely just curves around there? And you're looking for flow is what you're looking for. You're looking for the flow of the topology. I'm going to select around the eye here. Look at how nicely this flows up through here. Select, uh, let's see, select one of these. Nice flow there. Select up here. Goes right down the center of the face. Very nice. Come down here, select that one. Come up here. Nice, nice flow on this. That is the kind of topology that you're looking for. You're looking for all these faces and all these vertices to flow in the correct way. Now, let's look at the bad topology one. And, I mean, this one is exaggerated because I wanted to, you know, really be able to show you what bad topology was. But, a lot of times it's not, not clear at all. I mean, it's, you really have to get used to looking at the topology and creating it in order to correct it. So, how would you correct something like this? Well, I'm gonna, just going to turn on vertex mode here and what you would do is come in and say okay I know this just doesn't look right I'm gonna select this and hit G pull it down move this down and see how you want to kind of smooth these uh, vertex positions out you want everything to flow you know nice and smooth the way it should and just try to make sure everything's lined up now, of course, as I'm moving this, I'm really only moving it in the axis of the view that I'm in. So I have to, you know, come back. I have to, like, go to this view over here and go over those same vertices and make sure that they're in line this way as well. Now, what I recommend to anybody, everybody that is starting to get serious with modeling is model a human head. Take a tutorial somewhere. I am not going to do a tutorial on a human head. Um, there is a lot more people out there that have done tutorials that can do it a whole lot better than I can. Um, but I, I recommend that you take a tutorial on it because when you create a human head, I mean, you've got all this, these curves and, they, and the topology moves around the face, around the lips, around the eyes. Uh, it's just the best example I can think of to start working out how topology works. And what you will find out is as you're going in and you're, you're manipulating all these vertices and moving them around, you'll start to understand really how this flow works and how, how you don't really want to stretch vertices too far. You want to make sure that they're all flowing in the right direction um, and they're, they're not pinched. And it's just it's just a, the best exercise I can think of to do this. The other thing about it, um, at least for me, is it's kind of therapeutic. I mean, I found that when I was, back when I was modeling a human head and moving these things around, I mean, it can get frustrating, of course, but it's kind of therapeutic to, like, just go through this and, and pick, you know, make sure you're picking the right area and you're moving it out correctly and, and eventually getting everything smooth. Um, 
as you, you know, when you do that and you get that kind of experience changing this stuff, then you're going to take that with you to everything that you model pretty much. Well, I, I won't say everything because there's not always a lot of, um, you know, correcting the mesh like this. Uh, later on, you find a little bit easier ways to do different things. But um, even now, when I when I model something, and it's especially if it's a subsurf that I'm using, where it has you know all these subdivisions, um, you'll find yourself going back to correcting you know mesh errors like our, our topology errors that um, you otherwise would have real a really difficult time to fix. I mean, even now I have a, sometimes I'll get have uh, difficult errors that I go in and I'm, and I'm like, why is this rendering like this? It looks fine. And then you, you have to sit here and you have to start moving vertices and correcting your mesh so that it's, it's going to display correct or it's going to render correctly. So I do definitely recommend just, you know, at some point in time, render, you know, working on a, on a human head tutorial and getting that experience because there's nothing like it. It's the best thing that you can do. And you can see that, you know, just looking at this, I mean, it looks so nice. Everything's nice and smooth and that's what you want. And you do not want this. <laughs> Even with the few things that I tried to kind of smooth out a little bit, I mean, there's so much more that needs to be done because I went through and screwed it up so much. But anyway, that is bad topology. Um, you just want to, it's part of the learning process. Uh, you want to try to get something like a human head or a human body that you want to do a tutorial on and, you know, just dive in and start working with the mesh because until you, until you understand really how the mesh works in the 3D world, uh, you're going to have problem after problem after problem. So definitely recommend that for you. So I hope this helped. Um, it definitely is something that I wish that I had when I first started modeling. There wasn't a lot out there that talked about errors. I mean, everybody criticized. If you went to a forum, you would post something and they say, Oh man, you have mesh errors, man. You, you got to do something about that. And then you're like, well, I'd like to fix that, but not a lot of people jumping up and saying, okay, man, I'll, I'll show you how this works. So I really hope that this helps some people out there. Um, at least, you know, now you'll see some things, if, if you see some things like this, you'll at least have some idea what they are and a little bit of an idea of what you need to do to fix it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.